Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tia Rodriguez and this is another random talk with T in which we are going to be talking about pros and cons of being a content creator. Before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. In this segment of Random Talks with T, I like to talk about random things that aren't being discussed enough, that are too awkward to be discussed, or just anything that just needs to be talked about. I, I just want to talk about it. The first pro is you get to connect and meet different people People from all over I think it's very cool and networking can also turn into friendships which is something I definitely appreciate when it comes to being a content creator and you learn many different ways on different platforms on how to grow your page channel or even business and as you continue to push for that specific growth you end up gaining new knowledge and skill from editing camera knowledge marketing through relatability and behind the numbers of your page or channel you learn how to properly use hashtags use your words and titles which is obviously something i'm still learning and working on of course but there's always something to work on when it comes to starting and being a content creator learn Learning doesn't end just don't let it drive you crazy or overwhelm yourself because it, it can be a lot sometimes another pro about being a content creator is the groups that you get to throw yourself into to promote your channel business or whatever skill that you can offer to help someone else and in these groups you're not only supporting each other but you end up gaining inspiration and even ideas you find your community, whether that's other content creators or different types of creative people that actually decide to support on a consistent basis and which gives you encouragement and even reassurance to keep going. One of my favorite pros is that once you become a successful content creator, do you get to make that your part time career or your full time career and have fun doing other things or venture off into other things that you want to do, whether that's a business or maybe going to college so that's definitely one of my favorite pros. One of the cons is the struggle to push for growth on your channel with other content creators who are starting or trying to grow. Whether that's in groups or just putting yourself out there, majority of the time you're not always going to get the support back, which can be tiring depending on whatever you have going on in your personal life. In groups, you may encounter things like this which doesn't make sense to me because if we're in groups trying to support each other, especially if black content creators were to truly and actually work together in supporting one another, being in these groups would make a lot more of a difference. And the groups within itself would become more productive than counterproductive in just showing, hey, this is what I created and that's it, you know? But on the brighter side of things, there's actually groups that are a lot more productive that actually are extremely consistent and they push for, you know, you watch my channel, I watch your channel, you comment on mine, I comment on yours. It's a lot of communication. There's there's a lot of support in, in, in groups, some more than others, but in those very few groups that actually support each other, that I can say is the brighter side to things when it comes to being in groups. And you actually can even form friendships within that too. Another con as a content creator is you can support someone that has 1K or 2K you know, subscribers and they'll act like they can't support you back. Meanwhile, their videos are 30 minutes long and you could you can watch the whole video, you can comment and you won't always majority of the time be considered to get that support back, which I find very crazy and extremely counterproductive. Because yes, all of these cons do come with the territory of being a content creator. Yes, I get that. But at the same time, if you expect support, then you can also give support. Because when that same person that's commenting also has a profile, also has a channel, and is also trying to grow. And it all could just be so simple. And that's just, I'm going to leave it at that. Along with having to stick to one thing and, and one aesthetic. Honestly, I I just don't know how to agree to that, which is a crazy con for me because as content creators that are just starting or trying to grow their channel are still finding their audience or maybe like doing a little bit of everything like me or just giving a feel for what they want to stick to. But either way can be challenging because just sticking to one aesthetic can be hard when it comes to maybe not wanting to get bored posting the same thing in which I did attempt when it came to working out. But not only did I burn out, but I got tired of posting the same thing. 
And to that I say, whatever idea or vision you have, go for it and make whatever you want because it can help inspire someone out there in any type of way, shape, form, whatever. Create it and post it. Honestly, I don't really, I'm not into the whole one aesthetic thing and stick it to one thing, posting the same thing. I just can't, it's just not me. That's just not what I be, uh uh. I'm not sure if I'm the only one or not, but it can be difficult maintaining reality and being a content creator because not every day is peaches and cream and not everything is necessarily needed to be on social media. Even if it comes to, you know, pushing out your content and being consistent and, you know, I, I get it. But at the same time, when your reality needs more of your attention, then that's where I see it as, you know, not everything needing to be on camera because... I mean, being a content creator and maintaining a level of your personal life and everything else that goes on behind it doesn't necessarily need to be on camera. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. That's just that's just how I feel. Being a content creator requires you to be as consistent as possible. And, you know, when you're beginning or when you're starting off or when you're just going hard, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes... I have gotten to a point more times than none where I've gotten burnt out and just extremely tired to even want to be seen, let alone post, which isn't conducive to becoming a successful content creator, but disconnecting from everything and reconnecting with myself in other ways without posting is something that is not only a need, but I believe there's nothing wrong with unplugging just to regain inspiration, recollect yourself before getting on camera recharging or just for a peace of mind especially when dealing with the everyday hustle and bustle if you got two jobs if you're like it's just a lot can be going on and I don't think that there's anything wrong with any of that I think unplugging from social media is needed as a content creator because it holds a lot of great benefits that can lead to something better that you can offer in whatever you decide to create next But honestly, anything that you decide to strive for, whether that's a dream, a goal, whatever you put your mind to, it all has its ups, it has its downs. And this is just one of those topics I just wanted to discuss in regards to being a content creator. So if there's anything you agreed with, anything you disagreed with, anything you related to, just go ahead and comment that down below. And again, it's your girl, Tiara Rodriguez. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next random talk or in my next video. I'm not sure. Just stay tuned. Peace.